I have already recorded a video on how to add and connect the device in my previous video. So now let's see what can this Wi-Fi plug do. So from the outside, you can click on and off. Then when you go in, so you can also click on here. So now let's see. You got power and you got timer. Timer, we have countdown schedule, circulate and random. So let's count down. Count down, you can count down when to on and off. For example, I put one minute. So after one minute, I guess it will on or off. Depends on what mode are you in at the current status. Okay, so it's on. I can also turn it up manually by clicking this button here. Right? So this countdown, I can go all the way up to 24 hours. Then what about schedule? So for schedule, when you add schedule, you can select which day to on or to off. And then you can choose what time to on or to off. So that's a very easy schedule. And a circulate. I don't really understand on this circulate. Like when I add circulate, you can choose the day as well and the time. To start and to end. So I don't understand about this start duration and end duration. If anyone of you know, can please comment below. I've tried, for example, I've set 2 14 and I've set 3 14. And this duration here, I must set something, or if not, when I click save, it will pop up that and says that time cannot be less than 1 minute. So means I have to click something. When I click 1 minute here, and I select 2.14, the lights will get on at 2.14 and off at 2.15. So what's the use of the end time then? So I don't know how to use this circulate, so I'm, I don't want to use it. And let's see, the next one is random. So random, adding random, it's also a select day and start and end time. So in the end, I guess I prefer to use schedule because it's uh, easy to choose on or off which day and what time. So next one, it's the electric. So it's the easy one, it shows you how many power are you consuming from voltage to current and you can check back all the history on how much you're using. And then settings, we have switch lock. It's a detail of when you on and off the switch. And relay status. And I've tried this overcharge protection. It doesn't seem to work for me as, like you see, my phone now is at 100% battery. If I were to plug this 100%, into this plug. As you see, my overcharge protection is on. I power on the lights, which is on now. It's a 100% charge, but my power is still on. So, what is this overcharge protection for? I don't understand too. In summary, this Wi-Fi plug that cost me around 23 ringgit is still a nice to use smart plug for me to control my non-smart device to on and off it with voice assistant or with the app or by setting time. 